Today I am going to do a DIY trash to treasure tutorial on a glider that I found on the side of the road and I saw it while I was driving and I thought to myself uh, that would be a great um, addition to my front porch where I can sit on it and read if I'd like to um, and I got out and I looked at it and there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, other than a couple of cosmetic things. The glider itself is perfectly fine. And so I decided that I was going to take it home and make a nice tutorial for you all. I'm going to use some Vaseline because um, it helps to give it that kind of shabby chic effect. And uh, that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to use this. And I'm also going to use this Rust-Oleum two times primer to um, two coat primer to um, uh, start the project um, off camera I already uh, sanded down the frame of the glider and that way the paint will stick to it better um, so I'm going to use this can of primer on it first and then I will paint the whole thing with the quick color white paint um, to cover up all of the areas um, that it didn't cover but we're not going to do it perfectly because we want the shabby chic look and you know so that means we don't have to be perfect about it which is great okay so I have that and then the cushions which I've already pre-washed and dried um, are still not in terrible shape and because I'm only putting this on my patio I'm not going to replace the cushions uh, I just was going to at first but I changed my mind um, so instead of um, replacing the cushions completely I am going to paint them with this beautiful seaside satin spray paint and I got two cans of this one for each and um, even if it doesn't cover the whole thing as long as it covers the front where you can see it the most that's all I'm worried about okay so that's what I've got for you today let's get started Okay, to start, I'm going to add some Vaseline onto all the areas where I don't want the paint to stick. That way, whenever I put the paint on, it will uh, prevent the paint from sticking to that area of wood. So then, that way when it's dry, I can wipe it off and it will show the wood through and have a really beautiful, shabby, chic uh, look when it's finished. I can't wait for you to see it. Okay, now I'm gonna prime it. Okay, that's all primed, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I can start on the next um, layer of paint. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, guys, and while I was off camera, I went ahead and flipped over the chair and I sprayed the bottom part of it with the primer um, and then I let that dry. And now uh, that that is dry, I flipped the chair back up and I'm gonna go ahead and put the quick color on uh, in white all over the whole chair.
right that this covered the whole thing with one can of paint and I'm going to keep going though. I'm going to cover it with probably at least two cans of paint to make sure I have a good coating over the wood. Um, it's really humid out here today. Um, but anyway, I'm going to um, coat it again and then we're going to work on the cushion. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and the next part of this tutorial is going to be the cushions. So I'm going to paint the cushions this color and uh, revamp these old cushions that are, uh, I guess, kind of country style fabric. And then I'm going to sew the holes up in them, and this glider is going to be a whole new glider. I can't wait to see it. All right, let's get started on these cushions. So I'll be able to paint another coat on this side of the cushions and I'll be able to flip them over and do both sides, which is going to be awesome. So um, I'm going to let this dry for now and then uh, I'll probably paint the other side off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I moved the camera up really close so that you can see better. Um, the white paint on the glider is dry and I am going to show you how simple this technique is um, to create a shabby chic look. We're going to start right here and I just got a damp paint rag that I use all the time and all I'm going to do is wipe the paint off. And there it is. Shabby chic. Here's another one over here. I'm just going to wipe it off. Isn't that so great? I'm going to go over the whole chair now and I will back the camera out so you can watch me do that. So if your uh, rack gets too much paint on it, just wash it off and that'll fix the problem. Okay, so I've got all of the painting done. I've got the shabby shaking done on the glider itself. I have to wait for the paint to dry on the cushions and I'm gonna add some finishing touches and I'll be back, okay? All right, so I've got us zoomed in again uh, because I wanna show you the seat of the chair here and it is damaged. Um, do just to wear and tear I guess you know over time um, so instead of taking this whole chair apart to get that piece out I'm just going to pull it tight again I'm gonna stretch it tight and I'm gonna restaple it down that way I don't have to take the whole back of this chair off in order to replace that one little piece
can see where the old staples were at. And I am not gonna go back into that area because that is weakened. So what you wanna do is go into a spot that hasn't been stapled yet. If you can, because there's some spots that won't let you. Just want that to be tight so it doesn't fall through. I think that's good. Okay, so the paint is dry on the cushions and um, they do have some holes in them that need to be repaired. So I, instead of sewing them, I'm going to use this liquid stitch. I don't know if that's in focus. There we go. Uh, this liquid stitch, and that will make it just a little bit easier and quicker. Um, it says here, uh, let's see, instructions. Shake well before you use, spread glue, press fabric in place, dry 30 minutes. Um, it's basically a glue, so uh, I'm going to use this instead of using a thread and needle and hopefully it will make it a little bit quicker. We will find out and I will let you know. I'm gonna do one at a time here and I'm gonna try and show you, if I can, what I'm doing. Um, I'm just basically going to use one of these little clippy things and I'm going to um, put it on here like glue and I'm gonna clip it together and we're gonna see how it comes out. That's all I'm going to do, and I'm going to clip it together, and I'll be back and let you know how it came out. So here's what I did with it, uh, and I will let that dry, and I'll do the other one, and um, I think it'll work. And we're just putting these outside, so I'm not too worried about it being perfectly done. But uh, I'll be back, and I will show you what it looks like. All right, so I moved back outside, and I just wanted you to see that, and it did work, and I want you to see the whole chair. I also forgot to mention, I keep forgetting to mention, <laughs> that there is a footstool, and I did go ahead and paint the footstool off camera. So there it is, and... Here is the whole chair set up. I am so excited to put it out and see how it turned out. I just really am happy about it. Uh, we just got this house and we are going to be doing a lot of updating and repairs. So. I'm sure that I'll have a lot of DIY and how-to uh, episodes coming up very soon. And I really hope that you like this. I will include some close-ups of everything so that you all can see all these great I details. I will also add before and after pictures because I know you want to see I hope you all liked my first episode of Trash to Treasure, and I hope to have inspired you to take old and ugly things and make them beautiful again. Sometimes those old things just need a little TLC, and it's always so much fun to see how they turn out. I hope you all have a great week ahead, and thank you for watching my Trash to Treasure salvage. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Bye.